What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as Zeus. His name is Scotty. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Zeus. His name is Matrius. We are currently witnessing the semifinals of AOL Destroyers. Uh tournament the he normally hosts one a year and he normally hosts vanilla tournaments but this year he's doing something different throwing together a uh a titans tournament here for you guys uh the very interesting thing about destroyers tournaments is that he likes the special maps and he allows the players to pick the special maps if they want to uh now in this in this game, we also have to be aware that there are map bans. So in this series here, they're all in the series, there are or in the tournament, there is a total of, I believe it's 46 maps that these guys can pick from. Uh, and they can, and they did actually ban their three maps already. So the maps banned by Scardi were Ghost Lake, that map that you all know and love, Mirage, which I believe is the uh the 90 degree rotated Anatolia. Uh, Midgard was the other map banned by Scardi. Uh, and then we've also got by Matrius, the maps that were banned were River Nile, which is kind of that map which is separated down the center by a river. Uh, Valley of the Kings, which is the map which starts with no towers and has those Migdols placed, uh, bandit Migdols placed with gold mines, three gold mines around them all over the map. And Acropolis, which is that map which starts with like a butt ton of resources on a cliff, which is a very strange map for a competitive setting anyways. So uh, those are the bands, but we do have a map here that you guys are going to know all too well, Marsh. The map is Marsh, and there was some banter pregame about, <laughs> about Scardi going in with Odin on this map, but he's decided to shake it up. Going with Zeus in an attempt to maybe counter Siv, his opponent a little bit, maybe make maybe think make Matrius think to go in with Set. Maybe he feels like Zeus has got an advantage against Set on this map, uh, or maybe even make Matrius go in with Odin. Um, uh, uh, Scardi's Zeus versus Odin's always been very very strong here, but we've got a very I mean, we obviously, we honestly don't see this matchup too often. It's normally like Poseidon versus Zeus or Hades versus Zeus. It's never Zeus versus Zeus. And this matchup does come a lot down to literally just Centaur Micro being super aware of not running your Centaur into their death uh, and making sure that you both get off your special abilities uh, on the enemy center. We've got some relics on the map here to look at. We do have the two arrows over here. An extra 5% archer, ballistic, and carabalistar pierce damage. Uh, we've also got over here the Gaia's Book of Knowledge, giving yourself an extra 300% bonus damage against the Titans for your infantry. We've also got ourselves Pandora's Box here, which is going to be a myth unit reduction in training time. Unfortunately, this relic doesn't see a lot of use here. It's not very useful. And we've also got the Blue Crystal Shard, which is actually a really, really good relic uh, if you understand when it's good and what upgrades to get with it if you don't then it's bad um and you should probably just don't pick it up don't want it don't bother because you're not going to see those bonuses so we'll see how it's going to go we've already got scardy two villagers on fatal leaving one villager on gold the differences here are that matrius has two villagers on gold uh, now going to be moving forward with his Jason. Already picked up that first relic, allowing him to train his myth units that little itty bitsy bit faster. But again, we were talking about it doesn't really matter that much. The centaur takes 22 seconds to train. If you got 25% off on that, you're looking at that 20 seconds to train, 19 seconds ish for the uh, for the centaurs, which is really not going to matter that much. It's not like you're going to be able to produce more in total because you have have that favor, that finite gather rate for your favor. Uh, and we are seeing the classical age hit. Bit of a crisis going on in Matrius's town center here. It seems as he's not producing anything out of it. Does start his villages now, as uh, as Sylvan Law coming through straight away for Matrius and Scardi alike. The Theseus, or sorry, Jason is out. Centaur does snipe one of the one shot onto the Katoska bosses. It's just scouting around. Matrius is so super active with his scouts, and Scardi is just sitting in the back corner, keeping an eye on that back hunt over there. As the Centaur going to sneak in here, you definitely don't want to bother attacking the villages 
just in case the enemy centaur gets onto you, but it looks like it's going to be fine here. Uh, and the centaur Polmark does come through and Matrius retreats with that little bit of damage dealt onto one of those villages before moving onto this location. We are seeing the Military Academy coming down. So this is going to be uh, a Hoplite Centaur against Zeus strategy, which we honestly don't see very much of. Normally, we just see uh, pure Centaur into second town center. And Smatrius is reacting to this by throwing down his archer range. He spotted the Military Academy coming down. What beats infantry? Archers beat infantry. Uh, but building these units does mean that the, the, uh, the Centaur get an extra uh, option to... Uh, to fight and to target. And we are seeing the scout for Madras just checking out Scotty's base, looking for where he can uh, hit some hit some raids. Katoska boss just a little bit confused about what he wants to do. As a bolt there onto the Odysseus does come in. Theseus, oh sorry, Jason's chasing each other around. We do see the Centaur coming in. We'll be able to hit one of those uh, Centaurs there with this special before retreating away. The Hoplites are already in here as the Toxodes coming out. There's one dead Centaur. Nice micro from Scotty thus far as his Centaur up putting in work the hoplites coming in onto the jason the jason has to get away as the villagers are just might sitting mightily fine over here matry is going to be retreating away from this location here as the centaur do start hitting that one this centaur now getting picked back even more as the toxodes are out trying to take down this jason here as they need to be a little bit more safe here and the centaur do come in will be able to snipe down that other Centaur, but one has been sniped down by Matrius, uh, almost leveling the playing field here, though. Scardi has come out on top in this fight thus far. And we'll see how it's all going to go. Looks like Matrius has even stopped production of Centaur at this point. There he goes, starting again. No longer building those Toxodes out as the uh, Centaur does come through. Does take down one Toxody, but a huge amount of damage onto that Centaur down to 20 HP. I'm not sure that was worth it. One Toxodi here costs about 80, 90 gold. Not sure that's worth it to lose that much HP on that one, but we'll see how it's going to go. The Hoplites swinging around, looking for some sort of raid, making sure nothing's uh, getting taken here. We do see the villagers very cheekily on this food over here, but the Katoska boss has spotted that one out for Skardi. It's a very, very nice position there for the Skardi's Katoska boss, and we do see Matrius's scout has been sniped off as well as a uh, Hippocon production facility, also known as a stable, has been built here. So that's going to be uh, interesting usage here. As we see one centaur sniped down, the other centaur getting some damage dealt, and Matrius going to pull back. He's actually leveled this very, very nicely. Matrius at 41 population to Scotty's, um, Scotty's 63 population here as the Hoplites are trying to sneak around, but Matrius sniffs this one out. Coming over here, these Hoplites may maybe just going to do a little bit of a ring around the rosy, uh, come back out because I don't think that there's... Uh, much usage for them in here as they do just walk away. And meanwhile, we see the gold villagers getting pushed off. There is a very, very nice gold mine over here. Large gold mine that Mattress can jump onto if he so chooses. We see the Toxodi getting taken out as the, the Jason getting pushed back. Those Centaurs still trying to get in. It's still an advantage population-wise, but Mattress has got a lot of resources in the bank, so I'm interested to see what he's actually what, what his plan for those actually is. As Scardi still can't get in here. We do see the Centaur swinging over here. Going to start being able to pick off some villagers as, as uh, Scardi aware. He's got a little bit of an advantage here. Matrius not paying attention. He will lose one of those villagers. So Centaur does get that there as we're going to see Matrius pulling his own Centaur over here to try and snipe this one down. Very low HP. In fact, he's going to just leave. Oh, I thought he was going to use one more special on that. Just two specials and not overkill, but he does work. More houses up for Matrius here as the Hoplites still searching for something to do. Scotty could very simply take down all these buildings. He's got the Hoplites. They they deal 16 damage per second against these buildings as Zeus. So very, very strong here as the army of Matrius starting to look a little bit more threatening here. Still no uh, no real Hippocons built just yet. He's only well, got four over here, I guess. So Matrius got to be a little bit careful still in this game. We can't really fight. I think Matrius might end up cease firing to grab this town center if that's what he's going to try and do here. Or he's going to try and get to the next age. We do see the villagers pulling off of this gold mine, moving over to the back gold mine over here. We'll see if Scardi's going to try and swing around the side yet again as those centaur still searching for something to do. 
the Jason walking forward, getting a lot of damage dealt onto it as another Centaur has fallen. Special ability is going to start coming through. You can utilize the Centaur to snipe down the enemy Centaur very, very nicely. Here's we are seeing exactly that. Nice micro from Matrius yet again as the Jason here. Very low HP. The Odysseus still full HP basically in the back. And Matrius has held on. Matrius is throwing up his art. Oh, he's going for a military academy here. So he wants to get some hoplites out himself. Uh, lots of resources in the back. 73 of 75 pop to 93 population for Scardi. Scardi's still not able to get in here. He's still looking for some sort of gold staff, some sort of pressure to make uh, some advantage with his population advantage here. Now we see the Hippocon and Santar ready to swing around this side again. There's three villages here that will get sniped down. We see Matrix grabbing himself husbandry. is now jumping onto the pigs. And Matrix not paying attention. He's going to get raided. He's going to lose potentially three villages here as we see one snipe there. Matri is going to be losing another two villagers as Scardi sneaks around. There he goes. Two dead villagers, three dead villagers in total there. Nice play from uh, from Scardi to get that raid off. Another Toxody falling over. Whoop. Two HP remaining. Spicy, but the Centaur to escape here as Matrius is going to be looking for some raids. He can snipe the straggler units. That's exactly what he's going to go for. Not overusing his special ability there. This uh, Hoplite will be falling. Nice snipes there as the wall gets taken up and the villagers will return back over onto this location as the wall's trying to come up on this position here. Uh, but some straggler units getting sniped down over here as Matrius is Toxodes a little bit too far forward here as he's trying to get that wall up. And a centaur does fall. The centaur have managed to find some villages of Scardi as the raids starting to hit for Matrius. He was a little bit slow to start, but now he's picked off the villages. Scardi's still in front of villages th by three here. So even if Matrius picks off another three, it's still kind of even. Uh, so it's not going to be that big of a deal, but we do see the temple getting taken down. Matrius, 85, 85 population. He actually does this on purpose, I've noticed. He stays 85, 85 population in an attempt to get to the... Uh, to get to the heroic age at a decent time here, but it's looking like he might be in a lot of trouble here because Scardi's got the population advantage. We still see the centaur going after some snipes onto this location. Where did the centaur... There was more centaur elsewhere? No, he's just going to sit on the production facility. It's a very, very smart positioning there with the centaur, but he's going to remove that for the time being. Uh, and we will be seeing that temple back up over here. Barracks coming up. Houses still not coming down for Matrius. There's the armory as the villagers still mining on this, still short gold. He could swing back over onto this location, but there's already some Hippocon coming in, making sure that nothing is going on. The Centaur will spot some villagers on this woodline. Remember, Matrius scouted this in the early game. The villagers getting pulled off of the woodline to try and hit the Centaur here as one villager will probably go down if uh, Matrius micros this at all here as the villagers are just chasing them down. This guy is like, ah, oh, attack! Uh, but one villager does fall. And Matria is going to be retreating back. Got a touch bit of lag here from Scardi. Hopefully he can sort that one out. But the villagers do manage to snipe down one centaur here as they will return or make their way onto another one. And we'll see if Matrius is going to be able to sneak out his army yet again. His army just sitting very patiently in the base, returning back onto this gold mine, making sure he's continuously getting that. This centaur just moving back and forth. Three idle villagers here for Scardi. Matrius with a slight villager lead right now of four villagers. Moving back over here, villagers are going to come onto this location. Villagers leave the gold mine. He's going to attempt to get this wall back up over here. Matrius at 105 of 115 population. So he should be able to start... Uh, having some success on this location is these villagers going to finish up on the goal by and you just play a little bit of a, a ring around the rosy just doing the doing the dance do the dance do the dance as we do see one centaur getting out of here alive but the army here for matrius 115 supply scardi 115 supply a very, very interesting fight ahead of us here because I feel like Matrius with the defender's advantage is going to be completely fine. We still have this Centaur here with 14 HP. Scardi going for a second town center on this position as the villagers get pushed off the gold mine. The Centaur doing a lot of damage here now. The villagers back over here. Now the raid onto these villagers as Scardi getting some value there. Uh, but Matrius able to push back the main army. This town center just about up. There's so much food on this town center. It's such a, pr a primo town center to be grabbing here for Scardi. Uh, though I definitely think that 
going to the home mythic age is better here. One town center plays this late in the game. Second town center is not going to pay itself off before Hephaestus comes in or even Hera. Uh, so we'll see if Scotty uh, or if Madras is going to be able to actually do anything or if he actually has to get his own second town center here to, to be of any use. The Hippocon coming over here pushing off that location has to continue fighting. These hoplites doing very, very nice against their medium Hippocon at this point. The centaur in the back doing lots of damage, but the Odysseus for Mattress microing very nicely. His back centaur as well. Meanwhile, this low HP centaur is taking down villagers while this is all going on. Uh, very, very nice play by Matrius to harass multiple different locations at one time. But Matrius has run out of food here. He's got no hunt left, nearly no pigs either. So he's going to have to start farming if he wants to continue in this game. A very, very difficult position for him to be in for that in that position. So he's going to try and make some pushes happen. And Scardi taps the ceasefire button. We'll see what uh, Matrius is going to do with this one. This uh, centaur is... A veteran centaur here with 14 HP remaining. <laughs> Just picking off so many, so many villages. Look at this, 40 villages to 45. Even after all that, town center is helping Scardi. No, he's not building villages from that town center. Fair enough. We see Olympic parentage coming through for Scardi as well. Copper shields coming through from Mattress. Still no town center. We do see a random villager coming in to block this gold mine off. I love that wall here from Scardi to uh, make sure that Mattress can't keep sneaking that gold mine. Uh, and Mattress is actually just about out of gold here. So we'll see where he wants to go. He does have this gold mine uh, as an option as the villager is going to chop through this tree here. He could also open this up if he chops that tree down, open this location up to come onto that gold mine there. We'll see how this is all going to go as the ceasefire just about to finish here. Medium archers coming through for Matrius. That Olympic parentage is about to pop. Look at that HP of the Odysseus, 432 compared to 352. It's such a huge boost, though you only get four heroes, so it's not as big as you think. But anyways, the centaur sniping off each other. Look at that double kill there. Both falling immediately. The Toxodes going to town in the back here, but Scotty does have the population advantage as he's trying to push forward here, getting so much damage done in this fight. 118 pop for Scotty, 105 for Matrius. Looks like Scotty is indeed winning this fight at this point as the Toxodes in the back doing their best to, uh, to hold on, but it looks like Matrius has to retreat back here. He's got such an advantage in the score, but I'm not sure exactly where that's coming from. Meanwhile, the storehouse does end up... So this is like the final fight that we kind of missed. And Matrius is trying his darnest to out Mike. He did snipe both of these Santa here. Actually, I think we might have seen this. But anyway, we'll continue from here. Uh, and this micro here from Matrius is so insanely good. There's no Santa left for Scardi. But Scardi does have the advantage of population here. He's got 130 to 115 population. So he's going to be able to continue to fight this beautifully here. We see the Odysseus now coming and cleaning up those Santa. Maybe we did get Olympic parentage here. And Matrius does pull back uh, in this location for turning around, doing his thing. And we'll just speed this up because I think we got up to this position here. As this fight comes in, still so many Sentai here for Matrius. We see them trying to come in. The Odysseus doing some damage. This Jason here tanking beautifully those Toxodes. As, as Scardi's Toxodes get so much damage done in. Matrius deciding to get his own Olympic parentage shares. This Jason does go down. The Odysseus still alive in the back with 432 HP. And it's looking like that Olympic parent has essentially carried Scardi through on that final fight here to deal with all of those centaur the centaur falling over here 90 population for scotty to 77 75 population still falling drastically fast here for matrius and it does end up looking like matrius cannot hold on here as the final centaur are falling matrius pulls back uh, he does have these villages over on this location here and he will tap out in that moment that's the game. Beautiful play here from Sky to grab the town center and force the issue. Matrius was in a position here where he definitely could have won, but unfortunately for him, he didn't make the, the best decisions to either get a town center and get some map controller in the ceasefire. Uh, not able to get this gold mine, forcing some fights when he probably should have gone to the next age. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next game.